Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is a two-headed giant modern match. Uh, the guy in the upper left-hand side has been uh, basically just going crazy making uh, two-headed giant modern matches tonight. This is the third game I've played against him. And again, the shuffler has decided to screw me over. But I'm playing my mono white Kithkin deck. Looks like my partner is running. Uh, Bant. It's kind of. I was trying to remember what that clan was called from the uh, Shards block. Yep, keeping that. Maybe I'll get lucky and uh, pull my one-drop Kithkin, otherwise it'll be a slower start, which is unfortunate. Yeah. He, the guy on the upper left hand side, uh, let's see, he, the first match we played, he was playing a, uh, uh, blue artifact mill deck, and, uh, my team won. Second match I went into, I assumed he was playing the same deck, and, uh, he th thoroughly trounced my, my team because I picked a deck that I thought would counter his mill deck, and he wasn't playing his mill deck. He was playing a uh, red and black um, uh, each opponent deck, is what I'd call it, because he had a bunch of stuff that dealt damage to each opponent, like uh, Breath of Malfagor, um, five drop sorcery, uh, red black three colorless, and it deals one damage or one damage deals five damage to each opponent. So for five mana, he was dealing ten damage. And he did that at least twice. I think he might have done it a third time. Uh, he also had uh, Blood Tithe. Each opponent loses three life, and you gain the life lost. Uh, you know, basically that was the entire point of his deck was dealing damage to each opponent, and he thoroughly trounced us. Uh, so we'll see what he's playing this time. I have to check something real quick. Okay, so he... So, my partner is going first. I was I was thinking that I had accidentally skipped my own turn, and I was thinking, what the hell's going on? But no, I'm just the last in the turn order. Not good, my partner doesn't have any green mana. Yeah, this guy can get pretty nasty if I can get, you know, a bunch of Kithkin out. <laughs> That that's the one failing of this deck is you know it it's basically a mob deck, you know if you have if you can clear my creatures then this deck is practically useless. The whole point is to build up a, ju a big army and you know punch people in the face. But I'm not getting the draws I need to do that. So, unless I draw a one drop for my third turn, it looks like I'm going to be stuck playing Wise and Sen. Or, if they play something that I don't like, 
Well, I could um, O-ring the uh, Blood Chief Ascension. Because I'm pretty sure I know what that guy's up to. Blood Chief Ascension mind crank bullshit. into the hidey hole. Don't need to see that. Cyclonic Rift. Hmm. Okay. And at this point, if he does attack, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to block. This guy isn't good enough to save, and I'd rather not let you have a counter on your Blood Chief Ascension. Planar lens. Okay. Now I'm wondering. If I were to O-ring the extra planar lens, and then he were to destroy the extra, or I mean the the O-ring to get it back, would he have to imprint a new land? But also at the same time, I mean that would really screw him over right now, I think. But at the same time, the Blood Chief Ascension is also mm. nasty. I've only got the one O-ring at the moment. Hmm. They're playing red and black, so I don't really think that my enchantment is going to get taken out. So, I'm going to go with the O-ring. And I'm going to take out the Blood Chief Ascension, because if my partner were to Cyclonic Rift the Extra Planar Lens, that would be just as bad as me O-ringing it. But bouncing the Blood Chief Ascension means that it comes back and it's still a threat. I want to make sure that that infinite combo doesn't come to fruition. Okay, did he get a green? No, he didn't get a green. Ooh, my partner is really starting to get stuck. He needs a green so that he can play three of those cards. Two more mana would get him the Sphinx, which would most likely get him a green. But, you know, at the moment, if he could get a green, that would be disgusting, because then he could play... Oh no, it's Prophet of Crufix that does that. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was Prophet of Crufix that he had, so that he'd untap and all of his creatures had flash, and then he could just go, Oh, Prophet! Uh, Mono Red player's turn. Oh, Thrag Tusk! I'm on a black player's turn. Oh, another Thrag Tusk! That would be really disgusting. And part. 
Sentinel, why didn't you Cyclonic Rift that? It would have screwed him over. I think I'm just going to have to go with her. I mean, it won't help me against the uh, Nighthawk. But depending what I draw next turn... If I get a land, I can play Wizen Sen and still have the mana for a Crypt Swap. If I don't, I can throw down Armor Dissension on her so that I can block the Nighthawk. Or I could throw down... Whoop. What did he play? Lightning Bolt. Okay, so she's dead, so all of that is... You know, all that talk was useless. Um, hmm. You know, partner, it would be kind of nice if you were to, uh, you know, Cyclonic Rift the Extra Planar Lens. I realize you'd rather be able to overload it, but at the moment, doing that to the extra planar lens would most likely really screw him over. Because if you think about it, this goes away, the exiled card stays exiled. And then this goes into his hand, which means he'll want to recast it. And if he does, then he'll have to exile another land. Might as well swing while I have the chance. I 
That's why I put down five damage. And if he wants to kill something, he can kill it. And then after that, I'm hoping to throw down the Thought Weft Trio. And then, uh, championing the air. The only way he can stop the trio is if, uh, he kills both of my creatures. Okay. partner nailed his green mana. So, dealt two of them dealt by target permanent and opponent controls. That wouldn't be too bad. Or that. Or you could have played this. Because even if you were to destroy it, you'd get a 3-3. Three, three. would deal damage to enchanted player, it deals double that damage to that player. Mm. Ow. Okay, so stuffy deals two damage. Not that big a deal. Until it comes back around to his turn and he's got five mana in a mono red deck. So he can start chucking six damage lightning bolts and what, like a a four damage fireball would be eight damage? problem with Crib Swap now is because of this equipment, Crib Swap gives him another vampire. Oh. Nasty. Trying to think. My partner isn't going to have seven mana anytime soon. So, as much as I'd like to throw down Armored Ascension on Thought, Thought Weft Trio and swing, I kind of. 
kind of just have to go ahead and attack with the Thought Weft Trio. Since he can't kill it without a spell. Leaving me mana to crib swap. He got a land. My advice would be to throw down the Sphinx. You'll draw a card from Fathom Mage. It'll go to his turn. And you'll instantly draw two more cards. Well, not instantly, because technically you have to go through the untap and upkeep phases, but. Uh, or Thrag Tusk. Okay. Nice to get five more life. stuff which would suck um why are you attacking this thing doesn't have flying he's just gonna block with stuffy and you're gonna take four Okay, here comes the boom. Okay, three mana, you'd be up to six. Devil's Play, target creature player, so it's a 10 damage shot. Why, why did you bother hitting Stuffy? Why not just shoot him in the face? I mean, are you afraid that his one blue mana is going to counter it? to their owner's hands except for krakens, leviathans, octopuses, and serpents. <laughs>
wouldn't be too bad for us. him. He'll just re-equip the blade to the skeletal vampire. But, if my partner does use Whelming Wave, then all of that will go back to his hand, and the token will just poof. Staff. Okay. So if he does Whelming Wave, I'll get my creatures back. So if I throw down Armored Ascension on Thrag Tusk, Thrag Tusk will still... No. Whelming Wave d bounces all of them. I'd lose Armored Ascension if I did that. So... Cyclonic Rift is really what I would need. Six for strike. These guys wouldn't still wouldn't be able to kill thought weft trio so i'm just going to swing in with the thought weft see what dies most likely it'll just be a bat or the changeling And throw this down because I, you know, it's not going to make a difference whether I do or don't. Detention sphere, nice. Stuffy, okay.
I have to say, I'm starting to feel like we're going to lose this game. I can't block any flying. I was kind of depending on my partner to do something about that. Now we're at 15. He still has the double damage curse. Which... Let's see... He can deal, his partner can deal 8 damage, so he needs 7 damage from his side. Stuffy is back. Leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards. Um, you're just lucky that the red guy didn't burn our face. We're probably going to live through the the vampire attack, but you did kind of just screw things up. I mean, you could have just played another Thrag Tusk, gained us five life, drew yourself another card. Now he plays Staff of Nin, or not. time. Like, you know, right now? Or not? Yeah, I guess, playing the staff. Okay. So, let's go with Armored Ascension on Night of Meadow Green. Make him big and nasty with his life link. I mean, I really, really wish that I didn't have to worry about Blade or him, but I can't just not let us gain this much life. And just to see... Ah! I was gonna see if there was uh, anything in chat going on, but, um... No, there wasn't. Just, uh, the model black player trying to tell him to curse me instead of my partner. Which, in this instance, probably would have won them the game. So I'm just going to attack with him. Screw you, asshole. Okay, partner. 
I have to say, I'd uh, say you m made some misplays, and we're in a very bad spot right now. And it's entirely up to you to get us out of this. What are you doing? I don't think that's going to save us. Because we have a mono red player who deals double damage to you. We're at 9. He just has to do 5 damage. Mm -hmm. Since Stuffy's in play, he mm -hmm. only has to deal 4. Ha have to have a spell that does 4. And because he could pass to Staff... That takes it down four, so he only needs three damage. He could lightning bolt, and they would win right now. Or, um, okay? I mean, you could have just flashed this back. I mean, you're, you're still going to win. But you could have just won right there. You have seven mountains. It costs three red. That's four. Four to the X. That's eight damage. Your partner staffs for one. We die. That'll put us at seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just double checking to make sure he could still activate mm -hmm. Stuffy. Oh, that's right. Double, double. We're dead. I mean, there's really no question we were gonna die, but... Yeah, my partner. Honestly, I don't know why he played the things he did when he did. I just don't understand. He could have done this. 
He could have done this at some point. He could have thrown that down and drawn a bunch of cards. I mean, just look at his deck. Look at all the rares that he played. And we're dead. And I guess, you know, if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.